Hello, everyone. Today we're still talking about traditional Chinese paper cutting, 剪纸洗字 Paper cutting Chinese character 洗洗 So the Chinese character is 洗 You can look at the picture 洗 and the 洗 here, and this one is a bit different. So you can see. The left part is exactly the same as this one, and so the whole picture is like the double of the character 洗 So let's talk about 洗洗 refers to like, love, enjoy, and joyful things. 洗洗 and the vocabulary here is 喜欢 means like. It's a verb, so for 喜 it refers to like. But if we are going to use it as a verb, we need to say 喜欢喜欢喜 Chinese character 喜 Look at this picture. This is a double 喜 So 喜 refers to happiness in China. And you can look at the left picture. She looks like a couple holding each other's hand. So it's easy to see in Chinese weddings, because normally we put them on the wardrobe, a door, a window, and wish a good marriage for the newly and married couples. So let's talk about the arranging of this Chinese character. She. This is eyelash, eyebrow, and a mouse. So this is the face expression to show when you look at something that makes you makes you happy. So this refers to 喜 And now, get your character book ready and let's write down the Chinese character. Let's count the stroke together. The strokes: one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is the order of how to write this Chinese character Xi. So when you write it, make sure you always follow the order of writing this Chinese character. And remember, we have twelve strokes of this Chinese character. Let's try one more time. 一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。十、十一、十二。So this is the character, and remember, always practice the Chinese character. And then let's get started with our paper cutting. Hi, I'm CC. Today, our traditional Chinese paper cutting, we're going to cut a Chinese character, 喜。洗。So we need a scissor, half of an A4 paper, a pen, and a ruler. This is an A4 paper. We only need half. So we fold it, and then we cut them into half. Normally in China, if we cut. Traditional Chinese character xi, we prefer to use red paper because that means happiness and good wishes.
but for now I will use a white paper so that can be obvious. First, we need to fold the paper, fold in, fold them into half, and then fold it again, half to half. And this is the open edge. This is the closed edge. We need to make sure the closed edge is on the left and opening edge is on the right. Next, we need to draw the outline of this Chinese character. We need to draw rectangles. Rectangle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are the same size and rectangle A and B, they're about the same size. Um, we might not do the exactly same size, but we need to do, try our best to do, do a similar size. And then under, we need to draw a bottom line under the rectangle B. Let's do it step by step. One thing, make sure the left edge is the closed edge, the right one is the opened edge. First, then we're going to use ruler. From the left to the right, we found the 2 cm point. And then we draw 1 cm. And then draw it till the end of this paper. And then the gap is 0 0.5 centimeter the gap and then we draw another one centimeter to draw the rank the second rank tango then we repeat the step the gap is 0 0.5 cm and 1 cm for the rectangle. Now we need to draw the rectangle A. The gap is still the same, 0 0.5 cm. And then we're going to draw three centimeters, three. And this side is two centimeter. Two centimeter. So next rectangle the gap is still zero point five centimeter. So we do two rectangles once and this one the gap is one centimeter, but doesn't matter if you do it in ha half centimeter. So now we finished the rectangle one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do the last rectangle B. So this side is still three centimeters. This side is two centimeters. Then we finished all the rank tangos. Then we need the bottom line. The gap is still 0 0.5 cm. And then we draw the bottom line. So 
So this is rectangle one, two, three, four, five. Rectangle A and B. Now, we need to take out our scissors, and then cut all the squares out. Cut them off. First, we need to cut the bottom line. Then we cut the squares one by one. So we finished cutting. Then we let's just open it. So this is our Chinese character Xi. You can put it on the window to decorate or glue it on your notebook. Well done, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.